Hi there, this is Echo from Data8. Welcome to Data Explained. Today we're going to talk about ESG data. The topics of sustainability and ethics are becoming more and more important in today's society, and environmental aspects of a business can have a huge impact in a company's future. That's why today you're going to learn what ESG data is, where it's being collected from, and how it contributes to the world of business today. So, what is ESG data? Environmental, social, and governance data is information on a business and its impact on its surroundings. Environmental aspects of a given business, for example, can be understood through data on its carbon emissions, the use of their renewable energy sources, or their water stress levels that they're producing. Social aspects of a given company can be understood through data on human capital and labor standards. Governance aspects of a given company, for example, could be understood through data on business ethics, their involvement in any corruption, or statistics on the company board. So there's a lot of information on a singular company that we're able to collect. How does data collection look in terms of technicalities? Companies are already having a lot of information available on their websites, in their ESG annual and proxy reports. Information collected directly from company resources obviously will lead to self-reported ESG performance statistics. Similar information can be drawn from reports and websites that are provided by NGOs and governments. Alternative data sources for ESG data may include financial news, social media, as well as company reviews, which will offer you a lot more recent insights on the ESG performance of a given company. So, to the use cases. Essentially, ESG data is a form of alternative data that can be used in company analysis. This is why investors and hedge funds are using it to identify low-risk low business investment opportunities based on the company's promising environmental and ethical aspects. Now, this was just an example of a use case. If you can think of another one, let us know in the comments. There are three major things about data quality with ESG. As long as the information is collected directly from the companies themselves, they will have their own agendas that they want to drive towards, and occasionally this might lead to some sort of a bias. You can try to minimize that bias by making sure that your data provider is using a larger variety of different sources for their raw data. Now, Third, update frequency. If your data provider is only using annual reports as their main source of information, you will get updates once a year. If they use other sources, like financial news or social media, you can get updates at least on a daily basis. And that was all for today. We would like to know what you want to learn about next week. Let us know in the comments. I was Echo from Data8. Talk to you next week.